glory am I bringing to my Father, whom I am representing on earth? What glory am I getting out of getting angry and vomiting on him? <laughs> What glory am I bringing God by getting in my flesh? Because that's total flesh, you know. Isn't it? Anger is rooted in pride. Is that not so? I'm proud and, and you don't give me the uh, honor that I think I should have. Because I'm a pastor. Now I'm proud. <laughs> that's rooted in pride. Who the hell am I? Who am I? I'm just another human being loved just as much as you are by God. No higher, no lower. So why should I expect you to honor me because of a title I have or because I've got a great head? If I haven't earned that from you. Because I know some idiots with great head. <laughs> I have to earn it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. By my thoughts, my words, and my actions. Mm -hmm. Everything comes from my thoughts. Isn't it? Yes. So you're going to judge me by what I say and what I do, is it not? Yes. So if I'm getting angry one minute and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, trying to preach to you the next minute, what are you going to think of me? Are you going to think that I'm a stable Christian? No. no. Now, you see, words are very cheap, isn't it? We all know that. That's why I'm saying. Yeah. And your actions have to be consistent. Amen. Okay, so we're trying to come about then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it up? Mm -hmm. James 14. Put down your own efforts to fight for your rights. That goes against everything that you've been taught. You know. The exact opposite of what your teacher taught you is what God is telling you to do. Because it makes no sense to the unsaved person to lay down your rights because the world will come around you. But they don't know that you have a defender in your who will keep you safe, who will fight your cause for you. You see, had Joseph, when he got sold by his bullies, because they were jealous of, of the property he spoke over him, sold as a slave, right, to their cousins, and then was wronged and put in jail for no uh, cause of his own, had he not trusted God in that space, the world would have crashed him. Right? It made no sense whatsoever for him to go to jail, have a happy heart, and make friends with the, with the top jailer and have a spirit of excellence and take over the jail and preach to people in the jail. It made no sense whatsoever. To the world it makes no sense. This guy's an idiot. He should be crying, he should be having de depression, he should be going to the uh, jail psychiatrist to get a couple of values. The matter with this guy, he's dancing around here at midnight. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, the world doesn't know that there is a creator who will boost you, and he came out to be the president of the country, of the biggest country in the world. Because he trusted God. So he says, put down your own rights, because I know what the plans I have for you, and I am your defender, and I am your champion. So stop trying to sit on the throne of your life because you say I am your Lord and Savior, but you make me your Savior and not your Lord. You are still sitting on your own throne. And you have made a mess of it. Isn't it? Plastic chairs. But not just you, I'm saying I'm talking to the world. It's not just you guys. You guys are privileged because God has brought you here to hear a message. Bring you to a tea to make a choice where the world is still coming on. 
building castles and, and uh, big fences to protect themselves so that they're hiding in there and they're, that everybody thinks they're very cool and yet they are a mess inside the world. <laughs> That's why I say it. I love to speak to you guys because you guys are quite broken and you have no facades anymore. It goes like that. Does. <laughs> I can talk to you one on one because I've been there myself. Yeah. And you can make a good choice with your life. Yeah. Let me tell you this which is the better scenario? The scenario that you are a good wife or a good husband, good mother and a good, good father. You bring your kids up and they've got the Nikes and they've got the holiday clothes and da 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 da. They live a life and they go to hell. No. Or you use drugs, you get to a point where you can't, you hit rock bottom no more now, you come to God and you teach your kids and they all go to heaven. Amen. Amen. Eternal life. Who is the success? Amen. The world says you are a failure. No. Because you haven't got monkeys. Or a healer. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Looking at it with two different mindsets. And the world, the stuff of the flesh, God, if the Bible puts it this way, the stuff of the flesh, which is the worldly viewpoint, the Babylonian system that we're living in today, that viewpoint cannot understand the things of God. Mm. Isn't it so? Mm -hmm. Before you were born again and you were touched <coughs> by Jesus, by the Holy Spirit, and knew Him, was it not strange to you that people could be in the middle of the storm and yet praising and worshipping and happy? Yes. And still have peace in the middle of that storm when they shouldn't be freaking out. Mm -hmm. It goes against everything freshly. Mm -hmm. You don't understand it. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> right, man. Yeah. Is this person in <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's two different drugs. Two different drugs. One is your spirit man, which is eternal. Another is your fleshly man, your mind, and your flesh, which is passing away. Not that your mind is passing away, but your mind is the go between the spiritual and the physical. Am I making? Am I talking? Yes. I thought this was going to be quick. Let him lift you up to the dignity of his presence. So if you are putting yourself to humble, I know I've got the power as your counselor to tune your blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. But I'll only do it if I think you need some shock tactics. Mm -hmm. I won't do it because I get lacquer. Mm -hmm. I will only do it if I... If you don't want to listen when I talk like it. Now, hey, wake up! You're talking about life and death. You're playing Russian roulette. And you're too much of an idiot to see it. Then I'm going to get angry with you because I will get righteously angry with you. Because I was there myself. And it's only that that threatened me right. There's no, nobody can play people like an ex. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, yes, that's your bread, but some whistles. Actors of note. So we've got to strip that thing down because you. I've been there. You know what I mean? I've been there. Myself. And Derek always used to say, Yes, I hate it. They come in here and they've got this little mask on. Mm -hmm. I hate council mm -hmm. I have to sit in council meetings and wait for my time. It's quite scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, James 4 6. His gift of grace is in direct opposition to the vanity of the crowd, the mindset of self effort. We like people strive to prove themselves as superior. Isn't that the world system? Mm -hmm. This gives a grace in direct opposition to that. He said, leave that thing on up. Because how are you going to walk in faith if you are still walking and trying to strive to prove yourself to other people as better than that? 
Ik heb hier gestudeerd. En ik heb hier plakkaarten op mijn nieuw. Check mijn naam niet, dat is beter dan jij. Dat is aan de world judges. The world judges you by your outer appearance. Is that the same person who is here eats the pillow at night? When you're by yourself, all alone. Is that the same person? Not at all. Not at all, isn't it? So guys, we're here with you, man. That's not the person. It's just the tent they're living in. And they make the tent very nice because they insist you in the tent inside, isn't it? And I'm not looking down on you, oh, so they have to wear nice clothes. Isn't it? Yeah. It's just breath into the thing. You must be nice. You don't understand how black looks all the time. <laughs> Unless you want to be a skinhead and that's the way you want to go, and I'll just do the otherwise it's something <laughs> painful. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a different team being around because I'm not secure that way. And I just want to go opposite the end of the spectrum. But you see how opposite God is to the world. Exact opposite because God is Christ. The devil is anti-Christ. It means opposite of Christ. Opposite of. So if you look at the worldly system that we're so used to. It's not a good thing. The worldly system will tell us that uh, to have a little tipple with your meal is far, eh, Bruce? <laughs> Why? It alters your mindset. Why do you want to alter your mindset? If you are made in the image and likeness of God, why would you want to become different to God? You see what I'm saying? You must think about it. Oh, Moriette, if you smoke, you'll fit in. Yes, you just hold it like this and you can look so cool. <laughs> and you don't be able to see your nail. No wonder the Bible says like sheep. Okay, 
for this reason, I've outlined these before the father of this report for From whom every family in heaven on earth derives this name that he would grant you. Why does it say his name? You notice that uh, with the mirror I've been harping on who you are. That you are son and you are your character. Your name, your surname, is Christ. Because you are in Christ, right? You're his brother, you're his sister. Right? So your surname is Christ. Right? So you my son, you my daughter, God said that. Right? So that's what I'm hoping on that. Every family in heaven uh, derives its name from him. Your surname is God. God. <coughs> Satan has called you that you're not good enough. Satan has called you that you are an orphan, that you don't belong to God, that you have to work your way back into his good That's gone. Give the reward. He's working on the reward system, right? The whole world is working on the reward system. Mm -hmm. Little girl, do something wrong. <coughs> Do something right? It's yes, sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So it's program. Program. Woo! If I want my daddy's love, I must go to the lawn and say that. And then dad's going to be sharp on the sun. What's that? Your blood determines who you are. Mm -hmm. All blood is from God. No matter what the color of your skin is, no matter what language you talk, no matter what your ethnic background is, no matter what your religion is, God created man and they made it one life. Right? So what's your sermon? Alright. That he would grant to you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner man. Right? And who here has got the Holy Spirit? All of us. Who have taken it. Who have accepted Christ into our lives. Right? Mm -hmm. So where's the power? Yeah. In us. Yeah. Are we using it? Yeah. Or are we coming into the flesh and vomiting? Yeah. On Brian? Yeah. You see, who are we serving? The same power or the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Same spirit. You've got the same power to walk in victory and be more than a conqueror. Why? Because of the gift of the Holy Spirit. I'll tell the story again. I've told it before. Some of you have probably heard it. Guy living on the streets. Uncle dies. Never even knew that uncle. The uncle leaves him 10, 10 billion bucks. Right? So they come to him and say, look, he has a bank card. You take this, you go to the ATM, you punch one, two, three, four. And you can draw as much money as you want, it's yours. He said, what a piece of plastic, how is this going to give me money? <laughs> so he's got the power, but he never used it. Got the Holy Spirit, but you never tap into it. Into him. See what I'm saying? So now you've received the Holy Spirit, but yeah, this thing is stopping you from tapping in. Because you're still sitting on the front of your life. You have not become humble yet. You have not died so that you can. Right? So where's the fault now? God never comes through for me, eh? <laughs> No, this one is like cringy. <laughs> no, you idiot. Tap in. <laughs> yeah? Crazy. Mm. We like little children. The Bible says we like little children in my house. Really? We like little idiots. <laughs> <laughs> he's done everything and he's given us a word, but we really refuse to believe it. Because if you believe it, you'll do it. And so we get into a little mental peace religious mentality. Yeah? I serve ancestors, I serve Mother Mary. What's your religion? Uh, what is this sermon? Uh, the Meteor River God? Oh, is it right? So I'm, I'm just putting them all on the mantle of my life. 
just in case. That's a mental piece reversion. There's no faith in it. So I accept Jesus. Woo! I'm going to say it. The Bible says so. <laughs> and I just carry on doing what I want to do. And I never walk in any power. And now I say, oh, this Jesus thing, I don't have to really get ahead, get ahead. It's the same. Where's the fault line? Jesus has washed you in the He's given you his spirit. The fault lies with your stubbornness and unbelief. <laughs> Nothing else. So you can walk around as it was a Christian for the rest of your life and just make it with the and smoke that hell on your ass. <laughs> or you can walk in power and believe and growth and step by step start doing something for the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God is within me. So I'm going to be a conduit. In other words, I'm going to be a tap to let the water flow through. Because Jesus is in there. He's got me to Jesus has done his job, and now it's up to you. So are you going to walk in flowness? In weakness? Forever conquered? Taking a vow of celibacy? And being no good to anybody? Putting on sackcloth and eating locusts in a cage? The choice is yours. You know what you're going to preach to the group. Alright, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Who here believes that Christ dwells in your heart? By faith. Then why are you not tapping into the power of that? My question to you now, answer me. <laughs> Alright, now to him he's able to do far more abundantly beyond all that you can ask or think. He's able to do that, right? What is the currency? What is the currency? Faith. Faith. He's just said that. Through faith. He's just told you that. I mean, don't you understand English? <laughs> <laughs> what more must he do than tell you the truth? But we're so used to walking in denial. We don't really believe. We say we do. But we don't really believe. Where well, you didn't get the strength to start tomorrow? Where well, you didn't get the strength to start tomorrow? All power comes from the back. I'm just walking with you. Okay. According to the power that works within us. power is within us, we have to tap into it. Because we don't. Who are you trying to stop smoking? Small thing, eh? I mean, smoking is not that good. You're not going to die if you don't have a cigarette in your life, is it? And yet, it's got that hold on you, isn't it? Yes. You can't do it by yourself, is it? Am I right? No, I'm not going to buy pets. Why not? It's stronghold in your mind. It is the small man of addiction hiding. Everybody thinks that the drug addiction is what is the absurd of addiction outside. <laughs> Acceptable <laughs> by society. No, I accept it. Thank you. I'm a Latin now, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Joshua 1 5. I love the scripture and my, my counsel is not very wrong because I've always seen you wait. 
But let me just give you this quick background. What is the time? Principle ten. That's the time. That was a long price in Russia. Mm. <laughs> Israelites had just come and been delivered from Egypt, right? This is the scripture. Now they're going into the promised land. Moses has died, and everybody who didn't believe that God could deliver them in the promised land has died. It's a, it's a picture of Frank, you, being born again, receiving the Holy Spirit. Now you're going into a new territory. You've never walked with God before. So you're going into a new country, right? So this is the picture. So, God says to you, no man will ever be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Why? Because I have the power within me. I can tap into this power whenever I have a problem and I can be more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yes. Just as I've been with Moses, everybody knows Moses, right? But nobody knows God. Right? So what he's saying is, just as I was with Moses, I'm with you. Do the same in my eyes. Body, I'm using non mm. Because we are hanging out on the ethers. Mm. On the nation. We've got three seats, I mean faces. <laughs> so what he's saying is, Cody, don't think of yourself as literally my eye. Just as I was with Moses. I'm going to be with you. So go and read up what he did with Moses. Okay? Isn't that cool? Yes. No. I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. Be strong and courageous. I said, God, what is strong and courageous? He said, strong. How do you get strong? Knowing the word of God. What is courageous? Doing. Now you're going into humility. Now you're going into dying. So be strong and be courageous. Read this word, know this word, and do this word. Amen. Okay? For I will give you people to possess in the land which is for your fathers to give. In other words, I will give people for you to bring into my kingdom. Because that is why I'm talking. Alright? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Talking now to Carly. Little old Carly, eh? who's just been born again. Then in verse 7, he said, Only be strong and very courageous. Read the word, know the word, and do it. Be sure that you start to do it because I will strengthen you to be able to. Okay? Um, be careful to do according to all of this law that Moses, of my servant, commanded. You don't turn from the right or the left of it so that you will have success wherever you go. Alright? There's a promise. If you be strong, read the word, and courageous and do the word, I will make sure that you have success no matter where you go. Okay? So now I'm saying, you're not sitting on the throne of your life anymore. I'm not only just your Savior, now I'm becoming your Lord. Now you're starting to trust me. In other words, what was the first scripture we started? Don't fight your own battles. Because as soon as you start doing that, then the moment you can Because you are a fresh. You are not of spirit. Okay, make sense? Alright, this book of the law will not depart from your mouth, but you'll meditate on it day and night. What does it mean, won't depart from your mouth? It means you will start speaking it over your life, the promises. Woo! God says, I'm blessed in the city and blessed in the country. I'm blessed going in and I'm blessed going out. I am successful. I am more than a conqueror. Okay. I start confessing this word over my life. I start changing the atmosphere around me from negative to positive. From depressive to joyous. From hopeless to hopeful. Right? Isn't it? He's saying, do this and you will have success. This is a promise from the mouth of God Himself. These words come through prophets, but from God. These are God's thoughts towards you. Right? Okay, so you will speak this word. <laughs> And you meditate on it day and night, whenever you get a gap, you start meditating on it, because when you start meditating on how good God is to you, you cannot. <coughs> you can't vomit on people. You can't make the sweeping statements, because your mind is not down here on the flesh, it's up there, where there's eternal life. Okay? 
cap. Alright, and be careful to do according to all that is written in it, then you will make your way prosperous. I'm not even saying I'll make it prosperous for you. You will make your way prosperous. Why does he say that? He said because you are aligning your mind with my truth. I go before you. I make a way for you. And you will make your way prosperous because you will be found in my path. And when you are in my path, not one will be lost from the palm of my hand. Okay. He says in many places, he says, I hold you by your right hand. I lift you up. I hold you in the palm of my hand. I go before you. I form a hedge behind you. My angels can move around you. I mean, how more guarded can you be? And he still gives you all the honor in Ephesians 6 10 to put on. As if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Then you will. The New King James Version says good success. <coughs> not just success, because there are many people who have success, but are not happy. Alright. Haven't I commanded you be strong and courageous? Haven't I commanded you get into the word and do it? Alright? Don't tremble or be dismayed. The Lord your God is with you. Wherever you may go. He's with you. He's in you. Isn't it? You must do that Tupperware exercise again. Oh shit. Remember? Yes. Tupperware exercise. I am in God and the Spirit in me. I'm in Jesus, Jesus is in me, Jesus is in God, and just goes from small tapaways all the way, and you look right there in the middle of those tapaways. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, this I say I'm affirmed together with the Lord. Alright? I'm affirming this together with the Lord. In other words, I have consulted God, and God has given me this word, and that it, it is true. Alright? It's not just me talking, I have confirmed with God. This word. That you walk no longer as you used to walk in unbelief, in the futility of your mind, darkened in your understanding. Stop picking on people around you. They are not your enemy. All you are doing is doing Satan's work and stopping God from being powerful in you. They have excluded the life of God because of the ignorance that's in them, because of the hardness of their heart, and they have become callous and given themselves over to sensuality. What sensuality? Sensuality. <coughs> desires. It's walking around. <laughs> 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 when you see the guys. <laughs> Stop practicing every kind of impurity with greediness, but you did not learn Christ this way. If indeed you've heard him and been taught by him, just as the truth is in Jesus, in reference to your former manner of your life, lay aside, lay aside the old self which has been corrupted in accordance with the lusts of deceit, and that you may be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new self, which is in the likeness of God who was created in righteousness, of holiness, and in truth. Amen. Okay. Pretty straightforward. And we know that God causes all things to work together for the good of those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose, for those who be for you, ye breathe destiny. Right? So, what is He saying? He's saying that stop walking in as if you are God of your life. Amen. Stop vomiting, because that's what you used to do. Start tapping into me, Holy Spirit, because it's me who's going to change you. It's a power in you that's going to change you, not you. You can't stop smoking. If you tap into me, you will stop smoking. See what I'm saying? Just using a, a little bit of Alright. So, 
A Rumi for you is also predestined. In other words, it's a done deal. He predestined it before he created the earth. That dinner would come to Jericho, accept God, and walk the path that God has predestined for him to walk. And it really happened and fulfilled because for the first time in his life, he won't have to strive to impress other people. As if he is better than other people. It won't matter because he will be doing only one who can do the work that God has given him to do where he is at. Nobody else can do it. They don't need to compare himself with anybody. So it's just the he is and he will refine God and he has to full of joy and peace. Love for people. Etc. And that's all? Right, so he also predestined you to become conformed into the image of his son, that he would be the first Lord of Mighty Men. And yeah, those whom he predestined, he called, and those whom he called, he justified, and those whom he justified, he glorified. Nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. All you've got to do is step in here to see what he's got for you to do. Now, he's told you in Joshua 1 to 8 what he expects of you. Be strong, read the word, know the word. Be courageous, do the word. Become humble and do the word. And you will be successful. I'll make sure of it. Who wants to be a success? Yes. And do what he's told you to do. He will change you. You can't change you. I can't stop my vomiting on you. It's when I get out of my flesh and tap into the spirit that the spirit's going to stop me from vomiting on him. Nothing to do with me. Because he's the one who let him do his job. And you do yours. So he's told you, get into the word. Be obedient to the word. Speak the word over your life. Right? Meditate on the word whenever you get it back. And you will be successful. Those are the four things he's told you. Stop judging other people. Stop vomiting on other people. Get into the Word and start doing the godly stuff. If you want success. What shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who is against us? Who is going to stop us? Who is going to stop us? So you can't, but God can. Is that the last one? Yeah. Yes. You can't, but God can. <coughs> you see what the problem is? God, <coughs> everyone says God will judge you, but you'll actually judge yourself. You'll actually judge yourself. You'll come before God, and He will separate the sheep from the goats. But you're, you will know, with full knowledge, exactly what you've done wrong and what you have done wrong. <coughs> He'll sit as judge because he deserves it, but he's, he's not, that is not his role, mm -hmm. if I can put it that way. God is a God of love. Mm -hmm. Your deeds, he says, you were given account for mm -hmm. every thought, word, and action. You were given account for it. But you will know exactly what you've done by him. So he will say, away. Understand what I'm saying? So if you, if you fall short away, you're going to hell. Or come down up with the faithful servant. You will say that. But I do not believe you'll have to sit and actually judge everything and say, okay, let's, let's have a case about this and that. Yeah. 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 It will be cut and dry. Because we actually know everything. We know everything. Mm -hmm. Conscience. Because when you're doing wrong, even from a little kid, God is there saying, no, take it to God is always, always there. Never left you, never forced you. That worst incident that's ever happened in your life, God is there. God is there, I'm not sure. Sometimes, sometimes, 
kam zu lange, ich bin lang gesehen. Ich bin dann rausgeholt. Nein, ich muss mich nicht wie in der Hand reißen, wenn ich kann. Ich erzähle mir, dass ich wieder auf die Kinder gehe. Der Gott ist da vor ihm, der Tick in mir. Der Gott, hat man das selber? Oder die vor ihm? Die vor ihm. So let's do what God tells us to do. And let God do his job. And let us not try and do it. When we start judging and criticizing and getting sarcastic to other people, we actually become in judgment. Mm. And he's never given us that to do to do. People have got flaws, they make mistakes. To give them the space to be broken. Give them the space to be broken so that God can fix them. Here we say, God can God can fix people. Your judging or being so thirsty for critical doesn't help them one little thing. All it does is make them realize they're still living in a broken world. And as it's Christian, that we can't act like this. Okay, we're going to turn it over to you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.